Apple's done such a good job of making the iPad a very user-friendly device that they've hidden a lot of the kind of command and control away from us. And one of the things that people can't tell readily when they look at their iPad is, is how much space do I have left? Have I got too many photos? Is it taking up too much room? What if I load another app? Am I going to run out of space? Now, you can tell that when you hook it up to iTunes to uh, and sync your iPad, but a lot of people aren't doing that anymore. They aren't hooking it up to iTunes because of iCloud. You can do all of that sort of backup stuff in the cloud. But there is functionality built into the iPad that will help you. If you just tap on settings, you can go into your general settings here, and there is a selection called usage. If we open that up, we get the information that we're looking for. Look, it tells me exactly here. I've got 18 gigabytes available. I've used 10 gigabytes, only 10 gigabytes here. And I can see all of my apps and see how much space they're taking up on the iPad. We can see here, I've got four gigabytes of music on my iPad. Keynote takes up 410 megabytes, et cetera. And if I want to see all my apps, I can tap on the all apps. I'll show you that more of that in a moment. Another part of your storage solution though is what's happening with iCloud, with the stuff that I'm backing up. If we click down here in the bottom, we see iCloud, total storage. We can manage our storage in iCloud and we can see how much of our data. See, uh, iCloud isn't gonna actually back up all of our apps, but it's gonna back up the data. And we can see here, I have 710 megabytes backed up from my iPad. In my iPhone, I have just about a gigabyte backed up. And for my Keynote, I've got about 70 megabytes backed up. So we see how I'm using iCloud for my backup. Additionally, you can go in and you can show all of the apps and you can actually use this interface here. If you go through and you see an app that's taking up some space and you say, you know what, that's an app I don't use very much. You can tap on it and you can actually delete the app here as well. You can say, you know what, I don't use Magic Piano. It's not a big deal. So I click delete app and it will delete everything from me and then I'll be able to reclaim the storage. If this has been useful to you, drop by our website at dottotech.com. We've got lots more demos there to help you with your tech. I'm Steve Dotto. Thanks for taking time with me today.